My message to kids that have been diagnosed with diabetes or their parents is basically don't let diabetes stop you. You can still do anything you want. You can accomplish all your goals and dreams. Even though you have diabetes, it's, it's, it doesn't matter. My football season was awesome. It was a once in a lifetime experience. Uh, I was a sophomore this year and I got to play on varsity. And I got to play with my brother, Josh, and that was really awesome. And uh, we, we made it to the second round of the playoffs. Our record was seven and three and it was, it was awesome. I keep diabetes from stopping me from reaching my goals, uh, but I, I always gotta keep on top of it, checking my blood sugars and uh, changing my my pump sites and uh, just making sure that I'm, I'm always feeling good and if you feel good you play good. The way I deliver insulin is it just it just it's a little reservoir here and it just it's, it's just like an IV pretty much and uh, like dur during a game I'll just have this like it, it'll be on my back and uh, and a, a pad hangs down from my shoulder pads and blocks it and I've never had any troubles with that so it really works out well for sports. A typical day with diabetes would be uh, you, you gotta check your blood sugars once before each meal and then give your insulin before each meal. And uh, for I've practiced or lifting every day after school, so I check my blood sugar before that and during that and then before I go home usually uh, to make sure everything's, everything's good. The routine changed a lot on a game day because uh, for games, it's very important that you feel good because if your blood sugar is high or low, then you can't play to your full uh, potential. So I had to check my blood sugars you know, every time I came out and uh, a whole bunch uh, before the game started. Another funny thing about diabetes is everybody's watching you to make sure you're not gonna pass out in the middle of a run or something. So once you get, get to the sidelines, you know, everybody's like, hey, Jake, are you okay? Are you okay? And uh, the coaches ask you 24-7, you need to check your blood sugars, and uh, one time uh, a coach thought I was kind of I was kind of out of it, like my blood sugar was low. But actually, I just I just wasn't playing good. <laughs> All my teammates know that I have diabetes, uh, and they watch out for me extra close. I mean, if they see that I'm not playing right or something, then they'll always have me check my blood sugar and make sure everything is okay. There's nothing that uh, a kid can't do with diabetes if. You can do whatever you want. You're a completely normal person. The only thing is you have diabetes and diabetes can't stop you from doing anything. Sometimes I do get angry about diabetes because it's just human nature. Uh, I mean, sometimes it feels like I'm the only one in the world that has diabetes, but I'm not. I mean, there's millions of people out there that do. And I just have to realize I'm not the only one that does have diabetes and I just gotta accept the fact that I do and you know move on with life. There's been a lot of people that have helped me with diabetes. Um, I go to a diabetes camp and I have a lot of friends there that have diabetes and they've inspired me a lot to, to keep on top of it. And my parents, they, they help me a lot too. I mean, they're constantly asking if I check my blood sugars or did my insulin or changed my pump site or something. So, so it really helps that I have a whole bunch of people to uh, look up to for that. I've had a few scary situations with my diabetes. Uh, when I was a kid, I passed out and went to uh, a, a hospital at my aunt's house, and that wasn't fun. Uh, another time was before a baseball game. I was mowing the lawn, and my blood sugar went too low, and I didn't do a very good job at mowing the lawn. <laughs> and then I came home and passed out on the couch. Being a teen is tough enough, but throwing diabetes in there makes it a lot tougher. So, uh, like, you know, when you're hanging out with all your friends and they're all, you know, eating whatever they want and drinking whatever soda they want, um, and, you know, then you can't do that. It's kind of frustrating to, to be that one kid that can't, you know, eat whatever he wants or drink whatever he wants and not have to worry about it. But uh, I've just always kind of thought about it. You know, I'm, I'm healthier than those kids, you know, because I'm not drinking five Mountain Dews every night and eating a whole bunch of crap. Some advice I have for parents with children with diabetes is uh, just make them feel like they're completely normal. 
Um, don't don't hold them back from anything because because they, they have diabetes. I mean they, they can do everything that a normal kid can. Uh, the, there's there's nothing that they can't do. So you just gotta make sure that they know that they're completely normal and you know let them do whatever they want, like whatever a normal kid can do, they can do too.